According to the Australian Psychic Association, it is boom time. They have reported a 25% increase in patronage over the past year. Simon Turnbull, president of the association, is here to tell us why. Also joining us, Barry Williams from the Australian Skeptics, and also private investigator Frank Monty. Gentlemen, what a, an array uh, of, of talent this morning we have. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Simon. You're a psychic. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is that uh, you've enjoyed, or people uh, who, who claim to be fortune tellers, psychics, have improved in business? Well, basically because people need reassurance. So the whole, the whole concept of the going to a psychic is to get confirmation of your own intuition. So if you feel strongly about what you uh, want to uh, confirm for the future, um, what you feel about the future, you'll go to a psychic. A psychic will confirm that. Uh, some people might suggest in tough times people just grab at straws. Well, um, it's not quite grabbing at straws. It's more a case of knowing that what you're feeling is correct. And if a, if a total stranger gives you information um, that you haven't pre-programmed to them, then uh, they go away feeling that confidence. Do you think perhaps at times you give them false hope? And, and that could have disastrous effects. Not at all. I mean, you have to tell them the bad news. You can't just tell them that they're going to win the lottery because the odds mm. are against that. You have to tell them also about that. So. Barry, you just, you know, your face is saying it all this very morning. You're sitting there <laughs> shaking your head and your beard. Do you think psychics occasionally really give false hope to people? Oh, certainly. Uh, it depends on the psychic. I mean, uh, what Simon is saying is if you need reassurance, you go along to a perfect stranger and he tells you things are all right, that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you do it with people you know, you do it with cab drivers, you do it with bartenders, you do it with people you work with. And if all they're offering is a sort of uh, comforting reassurance, well, that's fine. But if they start telling you uh, specific things that you should start doing and you take their advice, and that does happen, then you're in for all sorts of trouble. Because but how do you know it's wrong? Well, I don't know. Mostly what they tell you is not wrong because it's just generalised uh, good advice. So, so they're all generalised. I mean, uh, you know, you can actually um, give specifics. And then, you, then you've got to be careful when they start giving specifics. Uh, as, you would, as you would imagine, with any other perfect stranger, started giving you specific advice on something, you should be very wary and very careful. Yeah, but I can't, hi I can't afford to hire Mr. Frank Monty here. <laughs> and talking of Frank, you may be wondering why a private investigator has joined us in this segment, Frank. You were actually assigned to investigate psychics. Who, by, and why? The uh, now defunct head of a very large insurance company hired me about four years ago. Um, he was having some problems with somebody and uh, wanted to debunk the whole industry. I was able to do that to a great uh, percentage, let's say about 82 to 83 percent of the people that I spoke to, and I advertised to later on for people to come and do tricks and, uh, you know, bring me spirits and all so sorts of things. So you advertise for clairvoyants, <coughs> fortune tellers, psychics? Mm, magicians, uh, uh, voodooists, whatever. And you found 82% were fakes? Well, I, I found that 82% of the people that I spoke to had absolutely no idea what they were talking about, and they were a little bit simple. There were some people that, uh, in astrology and in tarot reading, uh, believed that they had some power, and some of them seemed to have been hitting the mark. What do you some mean the they time. believe they have power? They all believe they have power. What did you find? Um, I, some of them were normal people that believed that they had a particular power um, in astrology or in, uh, in tarot reading. Mm -hmm. um, no, nobody came up and said that they can, they can conjure a spirit or levitate a table. What about Frank Monty personally? Are you a believer? Um, generally, uh, there's a very, very small percentage of people that I think have something that I can't explain. Um, Simon, I'm here today because Simon's one of those very few people that has shown to me um, some incredible insight you know, on three or four occasions in the past couple of For years. For instance? Well, the latest one was two weeks ago when he predicted on a Monday that there was a death close to me. Now, being in the business I'm in, uh, and he's never said that to me before, although I've asked him to do things for the past two or three years. Um, uh, you know, it got me worried about death. He, he saw death within the week. On Thursday, my father had a heart attack and died on Saturday. So this was uh, 10 days ago. Um, and he had predicted that. He hadn't predicted my father, but he predicted somebody that wasn't, was very close, but wasn't either of my children. So and as a private investigator, I mean, you're a tough guy, Frank. I mean, you've been around the private investigating businesses for many years. A lot of people will be going, whoa, Frank Monty actually asks a psychic for advice? Um, I'll play with it. it. It doesn't hurt to look at all aspects. So you are computers. a believer? from computers to tarot readers, well... To Simon, how, uh, what, what, how, do you, how did you visualize this uh, tragedy and or other things for people? Well, there's a certain set of combinations in the tarot cards <coughs> that show death. 
and uh, it doesn't come up very often, but when it does come up, um, you, uh, you, you give out the information, and it's not, it's, there's no, so you can't offer death to everybody, obviously you lose business, I mean, mm -hmm. especially if it came true. Barry, you again sitting there uh, grinning away, but th you've got to say, Frank is, uh, is not a silly man. I mean, he's no, been around the business for a while and he is a believer. Um, and you've just heard that story. How do you react to something like that? Well, uh, the problem with Simon is he sells himself short. You see, Simon is clearly a man of some intelligence and some insight and, uh, and that's how the good operators in this game work. Um, they are they're people who know a lot about people. They use their own but native on, no, intelligence. That's the last example. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I can't put any uh, any uh, explanation on that at all because really I don't know what actually happened. Do you think there's a maybe in there? You are a skeptic. Yes. Do you think, as far as paranormal and psychic activity, there's a ma is there room in you for a maybe as far as psychic power is concerned? Not really. No. I, I don't believe that, that, that the tarot cards tell you anything. I don't believe that the astrological signs tell you I anything. I don't believe it. Simon, I, I, I believe now. that I believe that Simon is an individual who uh, who has some sort of rapport with people and can do that sort of thing. That's him. That's got nothing to do with all these external but you've got things it too. that he does. He's got it too. Well, of course I have. I mean, you're intuitive. We're, we're all lovable. Aren't we're all we? lovable. Right. I mean, that's the point. The point is that you have feelings about the future. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. we're, talking we're talking about a man that was completely but, but, but healthy. We're talking about a man that was completely healthy until until the Thursday afternoon, and I didn't even ask. Uh, Simon ah, but about you my see, you, you're the one that decided that. Uh, now Simon said there's a death. Around. I made him die, did I? No, 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 but it, anybody that had died near you, it hadn't been your father, it could have been your next door neighbour, it could have been, that would have made the, the prophecy fulfilling. You fulfilled the pro prophecy after the event. It's like uh, um, in the paper the other day, somebody in Italy was claiming that Nostradamus predicted this new Russian revolution. Now, of course, he, he jumped in a bit early because he claimed that Nostradamus predicted the, the uh, overthrow of Gorbachev and then ignored what happened later. Well, you can always the, predict it afterwards. There are many, many tales, and it only leaves us to wonder how and why, but uh, we're very grateful for all of you coming in to share those experiences with us this morning. Frank Monty, thank you. Off to Hollywood to uh, finish off the movie. Thank get you. it organised. And Simon Turnbull, who is a psychic of some repute, and also Barry Williams, the uh, original sketch.